Assalamu alaikum sisters. I'm making this video today for a couple of reasons. I kind of wanted to share a quick story with you about my conversion to Islam and how it came about. And I also wanted to make this video to let you know that inshallah I will be making weekly videos and inshallah I will do some giveaways every so often as well. I would also like to request that there be no nasty or hateful comments left on this video please or this page as I'm not making my videos for that sort of comments. I really, I don't want them on there, please. I hope you'll respect my wishes on that channel, for this channel. So first, let me start by talking about my background before Islam. So, I grew up in a kind of Christian household. I say kind of because my family is technically Christian. However, I was not brought up with all the teachings of the Bible, you know. We never used to go to church or anything like that. We, I think the only time I ever went to church was with the school, in primary school, when I didn't have a choice. So yeah, we're te technically Christian. My mum was christened when she was a child, so um, that's what I mean. I have to be honest though, I've always had doubts when I was a teenager, you know, when I was younger. I never really felt the presence of God in my life, you know. I never really used to I didn't understand it, I didn't feel anything for it, it was, I don't know, I just didn't really get it. I always used to wonder, like, I used to think they want a God, but at the same time I would always be thinking, but if there's no God, then how were things created, you know, like, how was the world created, how, you know, how were we creating, and alhamdulillah, it was... I, I always used to ponder upon these things, but I never really found anything that spoke to me that really made me understand that I, I never really understood it at all, you know. It was strange, really, because at school we were always told, to, we, we had no choice, we had to take religious education. The problem with that was that they were always, like, they never used to talk about any sort of religion, they used to talk about Christianity. And, you know, what's in the Bible and what Christians believe and everything. But I was never, I never really got any happiness from that, I suppose you could say. I never really understood it and I didn't see the point in it. You know, they'd always say certain things, you know, like about other religions, sort of like Jews. They, they'd sort of say certain things like the Jews did this or the Hindus did that. But they never, one thing I never heard them actually talk about was Islam which is it surprises me because now it is one of the most talked about religions and alhamdulillah people have misconceptions about it and everything but that's just sorry itchy nose that's just them so anyways back to it um I never really heard any religion that spoke to me I never felt a connection to it and I have to be honest I used to sit there in class and I was one of those students that never really cared to listen to you know about religion and anything like that I, I used to just sit there and I would I would mess about I would talk I never really cared I mean to a certain extent now I kind of wish I had just because maybe I would have benefited from knowing certain things about what the Christians believe just you know in comparison to our religion and Islam and everything so in a way I kind of wish I had listened but at the same time it wasn't exactly interesting at school they didn't really talk about much they never gave any insight as to what Christianity was really about so um, I mean, I don't know what to say. Alhamdulillah, at least I'm a Muslim now, which is alhamdulillah, that's a fantastic thing. But, um, basically, I know I'm going on a little bit now. But, what I meant overall is I just didn't believe in anything like God and stuff, so. As I went to secondary school, I was quite a quiet person. I, I did... I did like to study at the time, I did like school, I always, I went through primary school, I loved school. But then I went into year seven, you know, in secondary school, and I think I was about 11 at the time. And you know, as you get on, and I got bullied a lot at school, so 
at the time I really I really really started to hate school you know I always felt quite sad and I used to hate going and oh, I think at a point I got really depressed I was having issues with my home life and it was just a big problem you know I was I was really sad all the time and yeah I, I, I don't know I just I used to hate school I remember one time actually that uh, we were in PE and um, <laughs> we were playing badminton and we it was all the girls we were all locked into the in, in this hall with the teacher stood um, she was stood down down the door and I remember uh, a couple of girls that had always picked on me they came along we were playing badminton at the time and they came along when the teacher was watching and they the teacher saw everything believe it or not she did nothing but she seen everything and these two girls came along and they smacked me so hard with their rackets for no reason I, I'd never done anything to them and I'd never thought about hurting anybody I wouldn't physically hurt anybody and uh, yeah I remember that and I think from then on I always I hated school because I always used to get things thrown at me I had battery thrown at my head while I was in science class and none of the, I, I, at that point I lost respect for my teachers I gotta be honest because a lot of them knew what was going on but they never done anything about it they never helped me they just let it happen so at that point I was getting to the point where I was quite sad, you know, I started smoking. Yeah, a lot, stop here a lot. But I started smoking and I just, I started to get into the wrong crowd at school, you know. I used to deliberately get sent out of my lessons, like, I mean, I would throw paper balls at the teacher just to get sent out of the lesson so I didn't have to sit in the class and get bullied. And it got to that point and, you know, I just, I really, I locked myself away from everybody. I hated being near anybody. I, I was always scared to meet new people and if I go back to when I was a teenager, yeah, if we were going back a few years ago I probably wouldn't have um, made a video or anything like that because I am, I never used to be that kind of person. I used to be really shy, really you know, I wouldn't really talk to people. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's funny, but obviously I left school. So, obviously I left school when I was about 16, obviously. When I was 15, actually, sorry. Going backwards now. When I was 15, I, um, I started to look at things a little bit differently, you know. I was really naughty in school previous to that. I was, you know, I got put on report. I always ended up in detention. I always ended up having to stay after school. I was falling behind on my work just because I wasn't trying. I was trying to avoid being stuck in the classes. So when I was 15, I sort of started feeling like, hey, there's not long left in school now. I've only got a few months. It's, you know, it was getting to the end of year 11, which is basically when I leave and I was like hey I just want to get out of here and then I, I don't have to bother with all these people anymore I don't have to go back I don't have to worry about them you know hurting me all the time and hurting my feelings and making me feel down all the time so when I was 15 I started searching for something I think I decided I wanted to go and get a job so Obviously at that age you can't really get a lot so I just went and I got myself a little job in um, this like it's kind of like a news agent's come off licence you know a corner shop sort of thing and I got a job stacking shelves you know stacking shelves filling up the fridges putting away delivery so boring ya Allah I mean I I don't know how I'd done it but it was just it was so boring but at the same time alhamdulillah I was earning money so I can't really complain at that. The people I worked with before my newer job, the people I worked with were, um, I believe they were Hindu. And, um, you know, at the time I kind of took a little bit of an interest. I won't say I took a lot because I, that would be lying. I didn't really take a lot of interest. But I took a little bit of interest in their religion and I, 
I kind of enjoyed learning a little bit about it, you know, little bits and bobs and everything like that, drips and drabs. And at the time it seemed like good. It, it seemed like a good religion and I was like, oh okay, this is quite interesting and everything. But at the same time I still didn't feel spiritually... Spi is that the right word? Spiritually? I still didn't feel like a presence of God, if you know what I mean. I, I still didn't see it. I didn't see how they saw it. You know, they they use idols and stuff, and you know, a lot of stuff or a lot, but I didn't I didn't understand it. I just couldn't understand it. It was so weird. And so, um, after I'd thought about it, I'd realised the reason I was enjoying their religion so much and the way that I, I like learning about it was actually not because it was a good religion. I don't want to say that. Do you know what I mean? Not because it was a good religion, but because it was a... They were doing stuff that I had already been doing, you know, at the time I smoked and I drank and I stole for a lot of forgive me for all of that. But at the time they they were doing things that I was used to, the things that I had been brought up with, like drinking and smoking and, you know, like backbiting, as well. that was bad, backbiting. I don't want to say it's down to their religion, it's just down to the people themselves, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm pretty sure that no religion tells tells you to backbite and drink and smoke and... But I don't know, and I'm not going to go into that detail because I don't want to be a hypocrite and say that it does if it doesn't. I'm just not sure. But, anyways, I kind of got a little bit fed up with that job, and I wanted to look for something a little bit more permanent. So, uh, as it was, my mum was walking home from work one day, and she actually works next door to a fish and chip shop, and they were hiring at the time. So when I was 16, obviously I was old enough, I can go and get a proper job. So I went in, I asked them if I could have the job, and a day later they rang me and they said, hey, you got the job. And alhamdulillah, they were such good people. I didn't know they were religious at the time. When I got got on the job, I, um, I had no idea. You know, I was kind of blind to religion. I never really understood any of it. You know, like I'd heard bits and bobs, like I said at my previous job, I'd heard little bits and bobs about Hindu. But I never really understood religion until I met these people. I mean, subhanAllah, they are amazing people. At the time, I didn't know what religion it was, but I, I'd always see them reciting. They'd always be doing digir. You know, they'd be doing praying. I, I, I wouldn't see them praying specifically, but they'd always be praying. Like... You know, they'd like literally, yeah, sorry about that, I got a phone call. Um, yeah, no, so I'd always see them praying and everything, and um, that was the point where I really, st I, I always felt happy when I was around them. I didn't, I didn't know why, I couldn't explain it. They were always, they would always make me smile, um, they would always be, they had such good manners, they were so polite, so friendly, so caring. I mean, they were so good with people, and I, I, I started to question their religion, and I mean, uh, subhanAllah, it was just, it's so amazing, and it's so beautiful. I mean, I remember asking, one day I was asking a question, and the answer I got was just subhanAllah, and then... I could not help myself from asking more and more questions. I just I kept asking. I mean, eventually one of the one day I remember him telling me about um, prophets and naming a couple of the prophets, and I was like, whoa. There is like they talk about those sort of prophets in the Bible, and um, I, I I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow. But Islam does it in such beautiful detail and alhamdulillah well it's the quran it's in the quran it tells the stories of the prophets in the quran and um it was such beautiful things you know and all this stuff about the prophets i really got to learn about the prophets and everything alhamdulillah i mean i didn't convert i didn't revert to islam straight away it took me until i was 19 years old and um obviously i was 16 when i started and when I was about 17, 18, I started asking a lot of questions. 
and when I was 19 I just thought wow this is the time to um go ahead and do it so I took my shahada alhamdulillah and nearly two years on nearly <laughs> well I don't even think it's two years actually because I'm 21 yeah I'm 21 in April but I took it when I was nearly 20 so alhamdulillah I'm yeah that's that's pretty much it I mean I still work at that fish and chip shop now alhamdulillah I still work with the same people and they are so wonderful you know they when I embraced Islam they really they really took me and they they've always treated me like family they still treat me like family now you know I remember when I first reverted and you know my bosses found out they um they all went and they bought me gifts you know prayer mats scarves dig gear beads and um subhanallah even you know my boss's wife his wife alhamdulillah she she never met me she didn't know me but she went um to saudi arabia saudi and uh she brought me back like this bag of gifts and i was like alhamdulillah it is just it's so nice to be accepted, you know, and feel, they just, their religion, the religion, Islam, is just fantastic. It just really, it shows you how to treat people like your actual brothers and sisters and your family, you know, your uncles, your aunts, your, do you know what I mean? Alhamdulillah, and since then I've met them, and they're just such a nice family, and Alhamdulillah, I just, I don't know, they just make me feel welcome, so... Alhamdulillah. Anyways, um, before I forget, I was just, um, I just wanted to leave one final, uh, bit of the video. I just wanted to say, um, if anybody has any questions they wanted me to answer or any video ideas, you know, anything you wanted me to do, like maybe a hijab tutorial or makeup thing or anything maybe just a little haul um yeah inshallah just let me know and i'll um i'll try my best to reply to any questions that you may have or any videos i will try to make them inshallah so thanks for watching my channel i haven't really got much else to say to be honest apart from sorry i kind of went on a little bit i know my video is a little bit long but um yeah alhamdulillah one thing though i it did take me a long time to tell my parents i don't know what it was i was just i was so scared i was constantly thinking i was like what are they gonna say what are they gonna think are they gonna kick me out are they gonna be like really mad are they gonna be okay like you know what i mean like around here there's a lot of locals so it's like a lot of my parents friends if they see me I was always thinking like what if they see me what are they going to say to my mum or what are they going to say to my stepdad and I was like subhanallah what <laughs> what do I do but alhamdulillah the people I work with they um they were amazing they helped me through telling my parents and everything so I mean they're fantastic and may Allah reward them inshallah so um yeah that's pretty much it Thanks for watching and I will s stay tuned and I will see you soon inshallah. Um, thanks for watching my video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.